welcome to Surgeon Simulator 2013. With me, Ether99. The guy who's been making the other videos, except for that one with Irish Bastard in it. So, today we'll be playing Surgeon Simulator. Hmm, who's gonna play now? Hello? Hello? Eh, screw it, if it's important, they'll call again. Alright, so, as you can see, I've already gotten 60% of achievements, so, I've al I'm already quite. I'm prob I've probably almost finished this game already, I've already com completed all the missions, but, you know, thought it'd be funny to try- thought it'd be fun to try and beat my previous scores and see whether I can make a better situation. This probably won't be very interest. this might not be very interesting because I'm actually pretty good at this, so yeah. Let's start with Heart Transplant. Yeah, I can speak while doing heart surgery. Nurse! Pass me the scalpel. Nurse! Why are you ignoring me? Fine then, I'll grab it myself. Yeah, who needs scalpels? I'll just use this. Uh, wait. Hmm. So many choices. So many pointy tools. Ah, well. Let's go with this one. Speaking of which, I, I when I get out of high school, I actually want to pursue a degree in medicine. That's just a, that's actually not a coincidence. I found when I found out about this game, I immediately wanted to play it because I thought it would be realistic or something. But found it wasn't and still liked it. So yeah, let's start off by cutting out the rib cage here. There we go. Very, very careful. You don't want to accidentally hurt Bob. Shh, don't worry, Bob. You're in good hands. Well, in good hand. <laughs> uh, Alright. Let's keep cutting. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. I'm a doctor. Sort of. Ah crap. Ah crap. Well, don't worry. The, the blood is normal. That's how most people would react to having a saw blade crammed into them. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. I'm a doctor. You can tell by my doctorate. Sure, it's a doctorate in dance, but what does what does the what do you know? You don't know anything! Alright. Oh, hmm. Right now he needs a green syringe. No, not the blue syringe. That'll kill him even faster. He needs the green one. The green one! Ah, there we go. Green one. Just stab him with that. Ah. There we go. And now, Bob will live another day. Alright. Let's see. Eh, how many people do you know who need rib cages? They're like, they're not even a major organ. They're just like part of a system. Of, they're just part of a major system. You have other bones, they'll take care of your blood production. Because bones do that. Fun fact. Bones produce blood. But that's not the point. Alright, so. Jeez, long. Eh, you don't need lungs. Everyone has lungs. They're way too mainstream. Who the hell needs lungs? Stop being so attached to your lungs. I mean, I know you're attached physically, but they can leave. You don't need these. Uh, liver. Oh, how important can a liver be? All they do is, like, filter out everything that could possibly kill you. You don't need that where you're going. There we go. Right, now. To get to your heart, I'm going to need to remove your stomach. Who needs your who needs a digestive system? Not you. You don't need a digestive system. 
don't need this. Come on. You don't need this. What kind of person needs a stomach? You don't need a stomach. Real men eat without stomachs. Their food just plops into their chest cavity and they like absorb it through their blood like a true man. No, the poison won't. No, the hardened food in your blood won't kill you. What are you talking about? Let's see. Here's your gullet. Ah, screw it. Leave that in. Now. Now to actually cut out the heart. Hmm. I'll have to say, Bob, your heart looks terrible. I mean, look at it, Bob. It's all pinkish and uh, purple -y. That's not healthy at all. I mean, look at it. Looks like it can barely do its job. Just stab it out. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Crappy old heart removed. May suggest that next time you eat less hamburgers. So you won't need to come in here again. Well, actually, I, please come again. I, I get really bored. Nurse, clean this up. It'll stink after a few days. Alright. There we go. Here's your new heart. Don't do what you did to it like you did the last one. Genius! Alright. Let's do the next one. Um, I can talk and do surgery. I'm a doctor. Um, seriously though, I actually do want to pursue a degree in medical science, medicine, you know. Ooh! Um, let's see, eat those pills and, uh... Back. Hello? Oh, hi there. Oh, 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 is that how you're going to talk to me? Fine. That's how you talk to your doctor son now? <laughs> that would feel bad. Alright. Can't wait. Bob needs a kidney transplant. Jeez, Bob, seriously? Another transplant? Ah, lagging here. The, the kidney transplant always seems to lag for me. There's always so many tools and organs in this one. Alright, Bob. You need to take care of yourself more often. It's alright. I can't seem to get this achievement. Either way, don't worry, Bob. I'll help you. Let's see. I know just the right tool. Surgical laser! This is what people use in removing kidneys, obviously. Ah. Oh, crap. Ah. Can I cut this part? Ah, this isn't working. Toss that aside. That causes a number of problems. Uh, hmm. There we go. And just stab there. Ah, ooh. Careful there. Ooh. Oh, oh, crap. Uh, well, I'm never gonna see that thing again. I'm just gonna have to use 
this. This. There we go. I know what I'm doing. I'm a doctor! Questioning my doctor skills. There we go. There we go. Let's see. Who needs digestive systems? Useless. See this? Your digestive systems are just like wet fish. You might as well just have wet fish inside you. Useless to you. At least now they are. So I'll give you a little scarf here. Here, a little surgery for you to take home. A uh, little souvenir from the surgery. Now you'll always remember. Hold on. I never seem to get that achievement either. Uh, well, might as well. Come on. Here's your new scarf. I know you like it. See? Very, uh, very fashionable. You're gonna start a new trend, Bob. You're gonna start a new trend. Alright. How'd we get rid of that rib cage? Stop. Hammer time. This is how people remove rib cages. Ah! Yep. Eh. Eh. Enough of this dainty little womanly smacking. I'm going to. Damn it, Nigel. Don't drop that hammer. Let's see, there we go. We're making good progress. There we go. Rib cage. Ah, crap. Nurse, the patient is losing blood quickly. Ah, crap. Where did you put the IVs? Ugh. Fine, I'll do the surgery on my own. Jeez. Do I have to do everything on my own around here? Eh, yeah, I've done the surgery high before. Remember one time when I was electrocuted and high. Yes, I've actually needed my achievement. Alright, that's gonna be annoying. Right. Let's see what the damage is. See broken bones. Yeah, you won't. Let's just leave those bones in there. After all that bones I removed the last time, you're gonna need the. You're gonna need these much more. So I'll leave these in here. Just move them away so I can reach your stomach. I thought I told you you don't need a stomach. Why won't you listen to me, Bob? Why won't you listen to me? You never listen to me. I can't be in this relationship anymore, Bob. You never listen to me. Oh, well, I'm sorry. I love you too. Wait a minute. We're not in a relationship. I'm just your doctor. Alright, so. I Time to remove the kidney. Now, to extract the kidney, first you must cut. There. Perfect. Uh, up there. Perfect. I know what I'm doing. I'm a doctor. Uh, grab that. Come on, remove the kidney. Why do you need two kidneys anyway, Bob? I thought that one kidney does enough work of both. Or so I heard. Actually, I'm not sure about that. If any of you guys know, just post it in the comments.
This is always the hardest part. Hmm. To get the, the left kidney is so much harder than the right one. Wait, um... Yeah, the left kidney. Well, on my side at least. On Bob's side it's the right kidney, but either way. So hard to get out. Uh, pop it out using this. Come on. Come on, Bob. Just a kidney. How do you keep... Man, Bob, this... I'm gonna have to examine your family history. I mean, this is the second time you've needed a serious operation from me. But seriously. You just like, have a family history of this sort of thing and... You know, I poke it out with my finger. <laughs> like I said, I'm thinking of pursuing a medical degree after I get out of uh, high school, so... Yeah. Act no! Yep, this is something. Come on, get out of there! Don't worry, I'm a capable, capable doctor. Crap, crap, crap. Don't worry, I'm a doctor. I know what I'm doing. I just uh, administer. Ah, uh, crap, not this again. Administer one green. Or, well, maybe a few green. Ooh, that's not good. Come on. Come on, Bob. We're in this together. We're in this together, Bob. Ah. There we go. We're in this together. Put this down there. There we go. Ooh, I was tripping balls there. Tripping balls, Bob. Don't, uh, drink and, uh, hmm. Don't drink and doctor, because that's not safe. You should never drink and doctor. You know what happened to, um, what happened to Roald Dow Howell's brother? Lost an arm because the doctor was drunk. I'm actually serious here. I remember uh, Roald Dahl's brother, the writer of Willy Wonka, if you don't know. The he lost an arm because because I think the doctor was drunk or something, something like that. But either way, Bob, you're gonna live because I'm not drunk. I was high a few seconds ago, but now I'm not, so you'll be fine. Come on, come on. Come on, Bob. It's so hard to get these in. I think the shattered bone might actually have affected the... Come on, get in. There we go. Yep. I'm a doctor. You don't need to worry about anything. And that is how you doctor. Alright, um, one last, one more time for the brain transplant. Sheesh, seriously, Bob? First, first, the kidney problems. No, no, first, the heart transplant. You ate so many hamburgers that you need a new heart. Next, it was the, the kidney transplant. I don't even know how you got that, but I think what happened was you took too many pills. You and your pill addiction, you need to be more careful with that. And now this. Seriously, Bob, you need me to remove your brain. Were you doing were you getting bad grades again? I told you that the answer is to study and not to get brain surgery. Oh whatever. You're here now and I'm paid to and I'm paid for this sort of stuff, so yeah. Let's do this how a real brain surgeon would. 
this is how brain surgeons do surgery. Really, they use drills and like they drill into the skull. If, if any of you aren't familiar with brain surgery, it involves you. You have to use a. You really do have to use a drill to get into the patient's head. But in this case, we're not using the drill to get into the patient's head. We're using the drill to remove the patient's head. Ah! No. No. <laughs> ah, whatever. Yeah, get the defibrillator. We'll get him up and running again. I don't know how that works, but either way, he's al he's alive now. So yeah. Ugh. Ugh. Aim's jittery. Let's try that one more time. <sighs> tap. Oh crap. Tap. 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 Doctor, are you sure this this will work? I have no idea. I'm the medic. I feel like the medic. Ah, oh, crap. Not again. No. No. Crap. 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 Not to. No. Not to no. Let's try that again. I'm pretty sure we can uh, do this. This isn't. This really isn't the most efficient way to get the skull out, but you know, it'll be entertaining for you guys at least. Normally, normally the brain surgery is what I'm best at. It's the first I got A plus for. Well, A plus plus because you know. There we go. No blood loss so far. Oh crap. Ah. Don't worry, Bob. I'm a trained professional. Just like the sniper. The sniper is a doctor, right? He said so in his update. Well, that's what he told his parents. I haven't heard from Mr. and Mrs. Mundy in a while. Hmm. Alright. Now, see, Bob. You're now a pioneer. No man has ever had his brain removed quite like this. No man. I'm serious, you're the first one. So, we created a special tool specifically for removing your brain. Here it is, the surgical tomahawk. It's different from a normal tomahawk by having very intricate electronics in it. It's designed to sever brain to sever over a hundred brain stalks in less than 10 seconds. I don't know how that works, but I think they all need to be bundled together pretty tightly. Ah, there we go! Brain's removed! Ah crap, I have to get new brain in before you bleed to death. Yep, there we go! New brain! There we go. Alright, so, Bob, you're going to need to be more careful with this brain, because you see, you're going get it. Having a new brain transplanted into you could get some getting used to. You'll need to relearn your name. Remember, your name is Bob. It's not Tom, like the guy that brain came from. Remember, your name is Bob. Got it? Good. Because you'll need to learn that new name. Now, no solid foods for the next five weeks. I don't know why, but that's what it says on my sheet. But, yeah, no solid foods for five weeks. Uh, be sure to take oh, take five vols of pills a day. You need those. Um, and other than that, you should be fine. Now, I should tell you, this brain came from a guy who jumped off a building. Saying he could fly, so... If you start getting thoughts that you can fly, uh, don't follow them, or else you'll end up just like the last guy. The thing is with these brain surgeries, it always tends to happen. Uh, whenever you get a new brain, the guy tends to have the same thoughts as the last one. So remember, don't jump off buildings. Alright? Got it. Good. I think that went pretty well, actually. Bob's going to live. Yeah.
Yeah. So, we'll eat this new pills. Yep. One bottle of pills a day keeps those crazy, keeps those creepy clowns away. Let's see. Well, after a surgery like that, I need to unwind. Let's play a video game. Act. Let's see, doctorate. Don't need a doctorate. Why would I ever need a doctorate? Let's see, no. No. I already know my syringes. Boring. Oh, there it is. Ah. Boop. Doctor, I don't need you. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Phew, I need that video game. That cost me $100. No! It's lost forever! Nurse, clean up my table! Alright, now. Who needs that doctorate? Push. Let's see. All my floppy disks. Wait. Floppy disks? Since when have I been using floppy disks? How come you get CDs? Okay. In here, whatever. Not like it was something important. Turn up. Don't need you. Toss. Before. There we go. Good. Yeah. Hmm. How do I quaff this potion of healing? Q and um, healing H. No, no, no. Not the poison of. Rustling jimmies. No. No! Ah, oh, crap. Okay, oh, blocked it. Oh, whatever. Wait, I think the game is resulting in a dromple. Yes! Yes! The game has resulted in a dromple. Beat that. Now. Alright, so. Like, comment, and subscribe, and if you want, I can play the ambulance, and maybe even the space operation, if you'd like me to do that. I've already beaten it, of course, but if you'd like, I can um, play it again, this time with YouTube watching. I'll um, try and use inappropriate tools to try and make it more interesting for you guys, so yeah. Anyways, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in my next game.